to a citizen, fool. Citizen to a citizen, fool. Key to light. Another one. And now, our feature presentation. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I need your help with this. This is one of the SBRs that got transitioned from an APR. And I'm changing out the stock. Alright, stay tuned. We'll start the video. Alright citizens, like I mentioned, I need your help. Against the wall. This is not a test. It's the real deal. Help me. Help me. All right. So in the intro, I mentioned that I, I needed your help picking out a brace for this. Um, just a quick safety check. There's no ammo in here. In fact, bigger than there's no ammo in here. There's no bolt in there. I took the bolt out and doing a thorough cleaning of the bolt uh, and, the, and the actual uh, firearm taking it out this weekend to do some shooting. So this is one of the uh, ARPs that I got um, uh, changed over to a SBR and I mean if you have an SBR it should look like an SBR and this brace is just screaming uh, um, ARP. Um, one of the biggest reasons why I want to change this to a uh, change the brace on this is so one, it doesn't look like an ARP. It looks like a uh, it looks like a SBR, right? Uh, having a brace on it will probably make people think at the range that hey, look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. This guy, he's running a he's running a brace, and it should be a SBR. That's illegal, you know. Let's tell somebody. I, I don't know. It's, it's never happened to me. But then again, when I was running it, it wasn't illegal to have this on there. But now that it's a SBR, I want to go ahead and update it to the uh, to a stock. So the stocks I was thinking about. Well, let me let me do this before I start. For those that you haven't uh, seen this, um, I'll do a quick recap of what I what we have here. This is a air precision um, build that I did using a 7.75 inch Hitman Industries barrel, topped off with a Dead Air Sandman can, Dead Air Sandman S. Um, the light that I'm using is the Olight Odin. Gotta charge it. This thing hasn't been out the safe since the, uh, oh, well, no, I don't have to charge it. Look at that. So this thing has been in the safe uh, since the deadline for, for the pistols. All right, so let's see, where was I? Air precision lower, air precision upper. It's at SLR Rifle Works. SLR Rifle Works, um, six inch handguard, six and a half inch handguard. And that's so it stops right by where the uh, where the uh, the muzzle for the suppressor. I got a chemo on here. I won't take it off on camera. Got your pressure pad right here. Um, Magpul Magpul uh, magazine with a plus. I think it's a plus five tearing tactical base plate. Love these things. Did that pin fall out? No, it didn't. Um, I've got a Rise Armament three and a half pound trigger. Uh, I forget the name of the. I forget the name of the uh, the safety. Let's see, Phase Five Tactical Extended Extended uh, uh, Bolt Release. I've got your Air Precision Breach uh, Ambi Charging Handle air precision buffer tube I forget who makes the castle nut it was hard finding matching parts or things that somewhat matched and then your Arasaka indexer up here I think that's it covered that really fast Magpul grip 
SB Tactical Brace. Um, if anybody wants to buy a brace, <laughs> I got a bunch available, five or six of them. So, yeah, so what we're doing here today is we're trying to figure out, oh, then I got a uh, 45 degree angle red dot. This is by Wolf Zero. This is by Sealy. This is the Wolf Zero by Sealy. Um, prior to the deadline for the uh, pistol braces, I did have a I did have a chance to go ahead and get some shots in. I'll roll that into the video with this on here using both the uh, the Attaball scope, right? This is the Attaball uh, one by eight, and it's sitting on a Swamp Fox mount. I forget which one it is, but I'll I'll put the video that I did originally when I first put this together. But this red dot is held up for 200 308 rounds. Here, so, so is this 308? Yeah, 308. So 200 rounds of these. Give you a little perspective what we're looking at. So that's 308. It's your 762 by 39. That's your 556 here. If you can see that. I mean. I like it. It's not the uh, it's not the biggest round, um, but it gets the job done. But yeah, zero eight red tip. I think I got a hollow tip in here too. Let's see. Yeah, can you see that? If it's hollow. Well, anyway, that's not the point. What I want to do, like I said, is I want to change the brace out and put a stock on. So I narrowed it down to four. Um, that's in the thumbnail. So in the thumbnail, you have. B5 Systems Bravo stock. Uh, I like that. It kind of it kind of fits this profile with the wide with the wide top right here. Okay. Um, you know this does pack a little bit of a punch. Um, you know if you're not used to shooting 308. Um, what else? The next one is. And I like it. All of these are moderately priced, to be honest with you, when it comes to uh, stocks. You know, I could go with a, a way more expensive one from, um, let's see, who has them? Um, not SB Tactic, oh, Maxim Defense. So I could go with that Maxim Defense one, but, you know, I don't know. It's just for the functionality and what I really wanted to do, it's a little pricey. Plus, it doesn't really check those boxes for me. I mean, I have. I have one, but it doesn't check the boxes uh, for this. One of them, it needs to be FDE, and they don't have the particular one that fits this in FDE. Plus, it's, um, you know, I hate to call things too expensive, but for the amount that they're asking for, I don't think it's worth it for what, what, uh, what, what I'm gonna be doing with it. So the other one is the Mission First Tactical. I'll, <coughs> I'll roll pictures of all these in. The Mission First Tactical uh, Battle Link Min Minimalist. Um, that one, I like that one. I have it on another a rifle of mine. In fact, uh, I may get that one anyway for another SBR that I have, and I'll, I'll roll this in. This is going to be a series, right? What stock should I choose for which SBR? So this will be the first one that I'm doing uh, with this first SBR because this I want to go ahead and upgrade this a little bit. Maybe take this off and put a Put a, uh, a vertical foregrip and FDE on here just to give it a little bit more FDE accents. Let me know what you think about that. If I should take this Arasaka indexer off and put a little short vertical grip uh, in FDE as well as an FDE stock. Um, let's see, the third one is the uh, Magpul Mo Slimline stock. Um, I like it. Uh, I have it on another rifle of mine. I tried it on this. It looked all right, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know. You guys, you guys, let me know what you think. And again, I'll roll up uh, pictures up there. Last but not least, and my favorite that I'm really pushing towards is the Fab Defense uh, GL Core CP. That's my favorite. Um, so. What I'm doing is, I'll roll that picture up here. Uh, I'm reaching out to all of my viewers, all of my subscribers, and um, I mean, it's not a challenge. I'm just trying to bring you a little bit into, into my world. Let me know what, what you would go with if you had this particular build. Um, 
uh, this length, this setup uh, here. It's compact, it's powerful. A lot of people, they think it doesn't make sense because they say it's not accurate out to X, Y, and Z yards. Listen, this is what I wanted to build. This is what I built. And I've already proven to myself that it's accurate out to the yardage that I feel that I would I would have to go ahead and, and use it at and, and that's that's that you know there's no argument there but this is a short one um, let me know what you think uh, leave it in the comments I read 100% of the comments good bad or indifferent and uh, what I'll do after let's say uh, after five days no let's say three days because today's Wednesday so Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday is when I want to either go out and get it or order it so I can have it uh, to shoot over the weekend if I, if I uh, find a place that has it. And if I don't, I'll have to order it and then I'll wait till next weekend to go shooting. Uh, today's the 25th, today's 25th. Next weekend to go shooting and I'll get that on, on tape and make that a separate video. And that'll be uh, the reveal of what was chosen based on everyone's response. All right. Thank you guys for checking out the channel. Uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for viewing and, uh, and your support. Talk to you later.